Greetings fellow scholar, welcome to Avon Explains. I'm Avon, and today on our first video we'll be talking about what is the World Scholars Cup. On the surface you'll find that the World Scholars Cup is an academic competition, but if you look behind that, and you definitely should, it is so much more. First though, a little bit of background about this program. In 2006, Daniel Berdachevsky, Demidex founder and director, shown here on the right, invented the World Scholars Cup as an academic competition that would bring together scholars from all over the world. In 2006, the first ever round took place in Seoul in South Korea. Back then, only about 300 scholars joined the round, but it was a small start for the program that would later encompass almost 3,000 scholars. Over the next 10 years, the program continued to expand, with scholars coming together at global rounds in the summer, where hundreds and later thousands of them would compete at cities like Bangkok, Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, and Dubai. The final event happens in around the fall, November or October, at Yale University's campus, known as the Tournament of Champions. Being an academic competition, the World Scholars Cup has several events that scholars compete in in order to test their ability to recall information, speak persuasively, write persuasively, and collaborate with their two other teammates. These events will now be looked into so that you know what to expect when you go to your next round or sign up for the program at your school. Two teams of three scholars, one judge, one motion, one debate, one winner, one loser, or sorry, lollipopper, and lots of stuffed alpacas to go around. This is the first and most famous event of the World Scholars Cup, the team debate, in which teams compete to see which side can best the other at verbal combat and persuasion. There will be other videos on this, and we'll soon see how you can succeed at this with your own team. Though a large part of the World Scholars Cup is about verbal persuasion, don't let that fool you. Written persuasion is also a large part of this event. The collaborative writing is where your team comes together to write three essays, one per person, about different topics based on the year's resources. Oh, wait, hang on. Sorry, it's not necessarily essays you'll write, but certain persuasive pieces. I've seen stories and poems written, and we'll have another video on this later. One of the more, shall we say, stress-inducing events of the World Scholars Cup is the Scholars Challenge, a 60-minute, multiple-choice test where scholars fill in bubbles to answer questions about the six topic areas for the year's resources. These topic areas are history, social studies, special area, literature, arts and music, and science. We spent a lot of time preparing for this, and I'll give you some tips on how to not stress yourself out later. The final serious, or shall we say, less academically focused event of the World Scholars Cup is the Scholars Ball, where teams come together to answer questions from the different topic areas, having to connect many of the topics together in challenging and time-limited questions. They use a clicker, as can be seen being digested here by one of the World Scholars Cup staff members. We'll have another video on this later. So that's all the academic events in the World Scholars Cup, but as I mentioned earlier, this program is so much more than just an academic competition. So obviously there's so many more events that aren't academically focused that make this event, and indeed this program, what it has become. I'll talk more about those in our video next week, but for now I'd like to answer a question some of you might have. Why the alpaca? The alpaca, and don't you dare ever call it a llama, was voted in as the World Scholars Cup master by scholars in 2006 at some of the very first rounds. It beat the emu to claim mascot ship over the program and has since expanded to represent so much more. And it often comes to symbolize the uniting spirit of the program. But I'll let Joga, a member of the World Scholars Cup staff, explain this for you. The alpaca is very important. It's more than just a symbol or a mascot in the program. It really captures the spirit and the heart of the program. And so the moment when they receive their alpacas is one of the most joyful moments of any round we have, any time we ever have all the students gather. One, two, three, one. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you now know a little bit, at least, 
about the World Scholars Cup, and there'll be certainly more videos to come as this program needs more than one video to explain it. That's just how amazing it is. As always, I'm your scholar, fellow scholar, and host of On uh, from Avon Explains, and next week we'll be talking about the website that made this all possible. Until then, see you guys later.